One of my favorite things about getting a puppy is the way that Danny says puppy in his accent. Danny, what are we getting on Sunday? A puppy! I like a puppy! <laughs> we are about to go pick up our new puppy. I'm a huge dog lover. I have always had dogs. Waking up and walking a dog in the morning has been a part of my routine for honestly as long as I can remember. So moving to England and not having a dog has been kind of a hard adjustment for me. <laughs> oh, hi. Hopefully he's not gonna be one of those who just tears up everything. <laughs> we were originally going to get a puppy in November, but to be honest, we were just so excited that we couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! This is Guinness. He's an eight week old Patterdale Terrier Shih Tzu mix, and we are obsessed with him. He's definitely a Hufflepuff or a Hufflepup. So, Patterdale Terriers were bred for hunting foxes, and Shih Tzus were bred for looking cute and sitting on people's laps. So, we think it's gonna be a really good balance between the two breeds. Because he's a mix, we don't know how big he's gonna be, but we think maybe like 20 pounds or so. He just has the sweetest personality so far. He's very focused on people, but also like weirdly chill for a dog. He has his moments where he'll just run around like crazy and then he'll go to sleep for like a couple of hours. It is puppy's first night. From what we saw today, he is a pretty good sleeper. He slept for quite a bit of the day however we do anticipate that he is gonna wake up we're gonna try him out on the bed we do have a crate but we didn't get a lot of opportunities to kind of get him used to that and we do want him to eventually sleep in the bed with us so we're gonna try it out there if it's really not working then tomorrow we're gonna try to put him into the crate at night but we're kind of just playing it by ear it is the first night so we're gonna be a little bit more lenient for him um, but it could easily be a rough night we will see Not trying. <laughs> no. I've got some requests to share the stuff that we've picked up for puppy, so I'm gonna share. We got him a crate. We got him two beds. We got these two really pretty bowls. They're a little bit heavier because I find that puppies, when it's a lighter style of bowl, they'll just knock it right over. So these ones are ceramic. They're a little bit heavier. We've got, of course, puppy training pads. We've got these and then also from Amazon, we've got like an outdoor one that is um, fake grass that we're gonna be using outdoors. We're gonna try to potty train him like quite quickly. Fingers. <laughs> So hopefully we won't need these for too long. Got a little blanket, two clickers, one for each of us. In England, you can bring your dogs into pubs and a lot of shops and on trains and just a lot more places that in the US they're not necessarily allowed. So we are gonna train him. We've got lots of balls and chewy things because he's a puppy, obviously. We're not really sure what types of toys he's gonna be into. So we're kind of playing it by ear with that. A Kong, because I swear by these, some toothpaste paste and a little like finger brusher, a little brush. It's kind of difficult because all of the dog food um, brands here and all the treats are totally different than the ones that I'm used to. So not 100% sure. Um, if you guys have dogs or know about dogs and you have any brand suggestions, then please let me know because everything is different in the UK than it is in the US. Puppy stuff. And we want his kind of color scheme to be like old manish. Like we want it to be like, forest green or like leather, you know, just really classy. <laughs> He's in a really playful mood right now. He's trying to like eat my pants. Basically while he's small, he's just a little half pint of Guinness. And then when he gets big, he'll be a full pint of Guinness. Oh, thanks babe. Thank you. And we are obsessed with him. 